This is your business review. I'm Dwayne Burbick. This week, we bring the story of a company calling itself Image and Glory, started four years ago by the husband and wife team of Andre and Tamara Lynch. It's a story of determination to succeed from two young people who started their business in their bedroom, mixing formulas to develop a laundry soap that was environmentally friendly and gets the job done. Their work led to Glory Smart Gel. Glory Smart Gel is a high, perform high performance laundry detergent. You only need one ounce of it to wash a large load of clothes. Um, it's, 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 it's designed to, to wash your clothes well, better, and at the same time to protect them from damage. Ms. Lynch said when the product was developed, she and her husband turned to distributing it by hand, taking a bus and selling it to people in communities. As we went along, we had friends, friends that came along who said, hey, I see what you're doing. Um, I'm going to invest in you. So one of our friends said, I'm going to give you um, $200,000 to start. Mm -hmm. So um, at the time, we moved to Bull Bay to another um, relative's home. And we didn't have the bus fare to go there. So what we did is that we said, you know what? I'm going to drink some water, walk to New Kingston, stop somewhere in Norman Gardens, rest, walk to New Kingston, made a deal. We were to pick up the money tomorrow morning. So we walked back to, 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 um, to Bull Bay after that. But we made the deal and the deal was done. That was a show of determination based on the conviction that they had a good product. Her husband, Andre Lynch, says even the most ardent septic is converted after using the product on the first try. And he proved that just recently. The company, which has been selling the Glory Smart Gel since 2013, had to stop because of financial challenges. In 2016, there was no Glory Laundry Gel on the shelf. And all of our customers had to go back to whatever they used to use before for an entire year. When Glory Laundry Gel touched the shelf again in January 2017, our, our uptake went up four times what it was in 2015. Everybody dropped whatever imported detergent they were washing with and went right back to Glory Smart Gel. We're not afraid of any brand because there's no brand that can, st that, can, that, can, that can match us in the washing machine. They can talk a big talk, they can spend a lot of money, but they can't match us in the washing machine. And he said, we're Jamaican made. We don't have to buy from Trinidad. We don't have to buy from America. We don't have to buy from Europe, especially when we have something better right here. In fact, he said in lab tests conducted at the University of Technology, Glory Smart Gel outperformed 10 of the most expensive imported detergent. The soap even won an award for the most innovative product from the Development Bank of Jamaica. And it was the prize, $4 million, which helped its relaunch earlier this year. Glory Smart Gel now has 1% of the $3 billion a year detergent market. But with 90% of the total being imports, Mr. Lynch is looking to display some and has targeted $300 million in sales in the next five years. What most people don't know about powder detergent is that it's old technology. Most of the modern world, Europe, America, the developed countries have moved away from powder because powder is an inferior product by itself. It damages clothes and it damages the waterways and it damages your washing machine. So Image and Glory with Glory Smart Gel, we're trying to bring Jamaica into the 21st century of washing. So you don't have to wash anymore with bleach and caustic soda and, and cow fat and, and, and you can wash now with a modern, natural, environmentally friendly detergent that will protect the garments as well as clean better than any powder you can buy on the market. But getting to where he wants to reach takes capital. Mr. Lynch said as he grows, his next aim is raising money through an initial public offering with an intention to list on the junior market of the Jamaica Stock Exchange. For now, he thanks those companies which have helped, his bottler Orion Sales and distributor Mussens, for the help they have given so far. That's the Business Review. I'm Duane Burbick. Good evening.